Many websites include documents, and these could be uh, PDF Acrobat files, Word documents, or even video files. Uh, I like to use eDocman to manage all of them, and it has a lot of other features that might be useful depending on the needs of your company or your website. Here I am logged into a brand new Joomla 4 installation, and I've installed eDocman. I'm here at Components eDocman on the dashboard and I'm in the configuration and the first thing I wanted to mention is that the document path can be outside of the root of your site. Well what does that mean? That means that if it's outside the root it's very protected so you if you have any documents that contain any sort of sensitive information or if you want them to be available only to people who uh, have the correct credentials, then this is a really important feature where you can keep all your documents stored where uh, web browsers and search engines can't access them. They can only be accessed through the component here and how you have them displayed on the front end of your website. Since we're here in the configuration, let's just take a look at a couple of the other things here. It's very configurable to go with how you have your Joomla 4 website set up and the configuration on how you want this component to work uh, has a lot of features as well. I'll just go ahead and uh, show you some of them right here. So this can pretty much be however you want it to be. One of the things that I have used in the past is where although we wanted to have a document available for people to easily download, we didn't want them to just be able to download, a, download them. We wanted people to either log into their account or provide their name and qualified email address to download. Um, and this, of course, has this option available. Uh, whenever there is a download, a notification emails can be sent to the administrator or pretty much anyone else that would include their username, the, the person's username, what they downloaded, and their IP address. Uh, so a lot of these things will really come into play if you have some more sensitive documents, perhaps not just a directory of documents. However, if you do just have a directory of documents, this is really convenient because not only do you have them all in one, one spot, you're a, able to easily update something. Perhaps you have a privacy policy and rather than find an old privacy policy wherever you put it, uh, remove it, you just be able to upload a new version of that document and it will replace it wherever you have it configured to show on the front end uh, of your Joomla site. So let's go ahead and put it into action here by creating a new category. And obviously, if you had different areas of your site, maybe you're a uh, manufacturer of different products and you have two product lines, you might want to have a category with one one product line and a category with a different just helps you keep things organized. Here we're just going to say category one. And we can go ahead and make this entire category so that it only has access to specific users, specific groups, and then anything within this category uh, would also be able to have that access level as well unless you configured it uh, elsewhere. But for us and our purposes, we're just going to have it uh, be to the public. So let's upload our first document. Head on over here and we're going to say new. And I'm just going to give it a title. Looks like that's all we need to do. And choose our file. And we're going to go ahead and choose our file. And here is our file. 
and open. We need to choose a category, choose the category that we just made, and we're going to go ahead and just keep everything standard here, although you can see I could change this to a different access bubble. And let's click Save. And item saved. So how do we go ahead? So we can manage all this. This is the administrative area of Joomla, but let's say we are want to make this public facing. This is our uh, default home page here. Let's go ahead and make a menu item. Here in our main menu, we're going to add a new menu item. We're going to make it a eDocman. And you could see that we have all these choices. We could list all our categories. We could choose everything that's within a category, column layout, a document detail to a specific document, uh, a place where we could manage categories. So if we're logged into the front end user, uh, as a front end user, and we have the access levels, we could manage some of this from the front end, uh, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and let's just try this tree list, the menu item I would like to have. So I am going to go ahead and change it to displays a list of documents from a category in a list form on the front end. And here I choose my category one, save and close. And let's go ahead and refresh our page. And so here we are, eDocMan Category 1. It shows our new document here, and this is just all with the uh, default settings. So of course you can change it to say something other than new or not display that at all. It shows the date, shows the size, shows the title, and we have uh, details of you and download.